Hi, my name is Anis Momin. In this video, I will show how to integrate Avaya Breeze with Avaya Aura system and session manager. So let's begin. For Avaya Breeze, I'm using 3.2 version and for Aura system manager, I'm using 7.0.1.2. To start with the integration, go to the system manager web page, home, elements and routing. In routing, you need to go to the SIP entities. Create a new SIP entity like I have created for a wire breeze test. Provide the name, the FKDN or IP address. This will be the security module IP address of the wire breeze. Select the type as a wire breeze. The loop detection should be set to off and the SIP link monitoring will be link monitoring enabled. Click on commit. Once the breeze test SIP entity is created, go to home, elements, a wire breeze, server administration. In server administration, we need to create a breeze instance like I have created here for breeze test. So when you select the breeze instance, it will ask you to select the SIP entity. That will be the breeze test. The UCID network node ID will be automatically populated depending on the breeze instances you have added. FKDN or IP address, this will be the management IP address of the breeze server. SIP entity IP address, this will be automatically populated once you select the SIP entity as the breeze test. Provide the network mask and the default gateway. Click on commit. Once the breeze instance is added, then go to the CLI of a wire breeze. A wire breeze integration can be done in two ways. When you deploy the a wire breeze OVF file, it will ask you to provide the IP address of system manager and enrollment password. Once the a wire breeze OVF file is getting installed, it will try to replicate with the a wire system manager. After the a wire breeze OVF file is installed, you should come to the Avaya system manager, go to the replication status and check the Avaya breeze instance is added or not. If the Avaya breeze shows as synchronized, then your Avaya breeze is ready to use. If it, if it is showing as not polling or not synchronized, then you need to come to the CLI of Avaya breeze. There is a script in Avaya breeze CLI that is called a CE net setup through which you can change the management IP, network mask or default gateway or you want to change the time or a DNS or NTP IP address. Also you can change the system manager IP address from CE net setup. Since I had provided wrong system manager IP address, I need to integrate with the correct system manager IP address. I will come to the CE net setup. It will ask you a few details like the host name and the IP address, the domain, it will ask you to confirm the information, the DNS IP address. If you want to configure the HTTP proxy, currently I'm selecting as no. The time, it will ask you to confirm all the details what you have entered. Now it will ask you to enter the IP address of the system manager. So I'll enter the correct IP address of my system manager. It will pull all the details and it will ask you to enter the enrollment password of the system manager. So before you enter the enrollment password, make sure the enrollment password is not expired on the system manager. That will be in home security certificates and enrollment password. Once you come to enrollment password, you can provide, you can check if the time remaining is showing uh, some particular minutes, hour and minutes and if the time remaining is, is showing as zero hours then you can provide a new exp new enrollment password. Click on commit. Since I have already have provided the enrollment password and the time remaining is showing as 441 hour, I'll go to my CLI and provide the enrollment password for my system manager. It will try to replicate and trust manage with the system manager. It will also check the DRS that is database replication 
with the system manager. Finally, you will get a status as DRS replication registration succeeded. Then you can go to the system manager replication page and check if the synchronization state has come up or not. I go to replication web page. Now if you see here, it is showing as a wire breeze ready to repair. If I go to a wire breeze, it should show me my new breeze instance which I have added. So you'll see the wirebreeze.gl.awire.com is in repairing state. In few minutes, you should see the replication status as synchronized for the Avaya Breeze which you have created. Now go to the Avaya Breeze. In Avaya Breeze, just click on Refresh and you will see this is showing as in denying mode. So before you go and make it into accept mode, you need to create a cluster for the Avaya Breeze. So I'm going to create a new cluster. So it will ask you to provide the cluster profile. So you have multiple cluster profiles like the contact store, core platform, customer engagement, general purpose, general purpose large, work assignment. Dep depending on your requirements, you can select. I'm selecting general purpose, cluster name. So I'm going to give as breeze test. Cluster IP, this will be a different IP other than the management port IP or the management interface IP and the security module IP. So I will provide a new IP. Enable the cluster database and database auto switch over. You can provide a description. Provide the SIP domain. Go to the servers tab. It will ask you to select the breeze instance to the assigned servers to assign it to the cluster so i'll select the breeze test which we have created in services you can install the default services are the call event control and eventing connector for general purpose if you would like to install click to sms connector you can just select the plus sign hello world click on commit So it will prompt you to restart the Breeze server before you make the cluster in accept new service. To reboot the Breeze server, go to the system manager via Breeze server administration. Select the Breeze test which you want to reboot. And I click on reboot. It will ask you to continue. To reboot the Avaya server instance, I click on continue and it will take few minutes to bring the Breeze server instance up. Once the Avaya Breeze server is rebooted, refresh the Avaya Breeze server instance and check if the security module is showing up. And you can cross verify on the CLI of Avaya Breeze by running ifconfig and you need to check if the ETH1 IP is showing as the security module IP which I have provided in the Breeze server instance. Now go to cluster administration. Select the Breeze test cluster administration which we have created. Go to cluster state and accept new service. Continue. It will show as accepting and if you show if you click on this show it will show the Breeze instance created here. One cluster can have five Breeze server instances added so that you can have it as configured as a standby. In the service install state, it is showing as the yellow triangle. Go to server administration. Click on the service install status. The service install status shows as yellow triangle since the snappings are getting installed. So if you see here, it is showing as installing. After a few minutes, the service install status will show as checkmarked. Next, come to configuration, Avaya or a media server, and it will ask you to provide the URI for Avaya or a media server. And the format is sips colon ce 
hyphen msml at the domain dot star click on commit next is go to routing and create the EMS for breeze ship entity this is Aura media server the FKDN or the IP address is the Aura media server type will be media server SIP link monitoring is link monitoring enabled now create an entity link between the session manager and the Avaya or a media server. Click on commit. Log in to the Avaya or a media server. Go to system configuration, signaling protocols, SIP, select nodes and routes. Under the trusted nodes, add the IP address of the security module of session manager. And in the routes also, it will be the IP address of the security module. Now create a entity link between the Avaya Breeze and Session Manager. I have added an entity link between the Session Manager and Avaya Breeze. Depending on the protocol you want to use, that is TCP or TLS. Right now I am using TCP. Click on Commit. To check the status of the entity link, go to Session Manager, SIP Link Monitoring, select the Session Manager and the breeze test should show as up. This is a procedure to integrate the wire breeze with the wire aura system and session manager. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at wire.com or on Twitter at wire mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.awire.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.